Bob, great to have you on. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Jay. It's, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> crazy times, huh? It's just crazy. And uh, uh, what's, what's t- really tougher for me is, uh, you remember Nat Moore, Jay? You, you know the name, Nat, yeah. Nat Moore? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nat, yes. Nat's director of uh, alumni affairs. And he and I, I talked to him last week and with my dad passing a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to go see Coach and and take my family down there and let him know how much I appreciate him. And uh, as of last Thursday, when I got a text, everything was fine. And uh, we were planning this. The plan was as soon as the pandemic was over to go down there to see him. And, uh, uh, and then you hear this, you know, so obviously something unexpected happened. So it's, uh, uh, it's just tough. Great. Great. Yeah. Been a rough few weeks for you as yeah. Rough few weeks for you as yeah. far as losing your dad yeah. and, uh, really sorry about that. And then he, to lose your, your, your yeah. football, your football dad and, and, and Don Shula. Yeah. Yeah. He, um, just, uh, and I, and I, I've been talking to a lot of folks. I we got to know coach Shula in the senior bowl. He was the coach in the senior bowl my senior year. So that started the relationship and, and, uh, you know, just, I was a big dolphin fan from the high school days and, and got to go down there and be around a lot of the folks that I'd watched go undefeated when I was in high school. So for me, it was a dream come true. And then coach, coach, uh, coach Shula was just, um, he's a man's man and, he cared about us. Uh, he had a vision that that was very strong and very clear, and he was really good at articulating that and helping us to believe in it. And because of that, I had the opportunity to enjoy some good years with the Dolphins as well. It was just an amazing experience for somebody like me. Bob, you had a chance to arguably play for, I mean, if you look at Coach Saban right now, but uh, two, two of the greatest coaches all time in, in, in college and in pro with uh, Coach Bryant and Coach Shula. Were there things right. about them that were similar, and, and what was different maybe about their approach to how they coached up players? Well, they're very similar in a lot of ways. They, they both had very high standards as far as expectations. And when you came to Alabama, you know, you were coming to uh, – not have a winning season, you were coming to win a national championship. And that's what we prepared for, and that's what we talked about. And we talked about being the best we can be. We talked about getting better every day. Uh, you know, and Coach Coach Bryant was very, very uh, organized. He was always, you know, very um, methodical. All of our practices were filmed. We graded every practice. Uh, uh, he, he just, he was, uh, he was, to me, so far out in front of most folks when it came to college football in a lot of different ways. And Shula was the same way. Uh, Shula, um, he had high standards when we came to uh, – and the, Miami had gone 6-8 and eight the year before my rookie year. And his expectations were high. They, we had five rookies starting on defense my rookie year, and we were able to go from 6-8 and eight to 10-4 and four, and then – start making the playoffs almost immediately, Jay, and then get back into going to Super Bowls again. And, you know, when you came to when you came and reported to camp in Miami, you better be prepared. You better be in shape. Uh, you better be ready to be focused. And, and um, you know, you better be looking at helping that team uh, win the Super Bowl. And so from, from their expectations, they were both very, very, similar um pretty similar as far as uh uh personal as well they both were carrying people they coach Shula was real big with his family you know mike and and david and his daughters and coach was a family man and then coach bryant cared about us we always knew that he loved us and he would tell us that so a lot of a lot of similarities uh, you know the difference obviously college coach bryant had more control of what we did Coach Shula was more, hey, you're grown men, uh, no distractions, be ready to go, do your job. And so from that point of view, they were different. But a lot of similarities, huh? 
very lucky to be able to, very fortunate to be able to uh, be around those kind of organizations with that kind of leadership. And that's the other piece is the assistant coaches that both of those coaches had believed in their head coaches and there were no distractions. It was all about, you know, uh, following Coach Shula's lead or following Coach Bryant's lead. Bob, this is Lars Anderson, and uh, unfortunately, we only have a couple minutes left with you. But um, what is uh, a, a uh, unknown story or just uh, a characteristic of, of Coach Shula that you would like people <laughs> to know about? Um, oh, there's, there's all kinds of them. He was the best. <laughs> um, you want me to? I can tell you about an, an alligator in the shower that Larry Zonka put in there, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably the, probably the best awesome. story, real quick, is we played Buffalo, and Coach Shula would always ask us not to eat any Buffalo wings the night before the game. And so <laughs> we always, the, the night before game at 8.30, we had to watch a reel of film as a team, defense and offense splitting up. Then at 9.30, we would come together for what they called snack, and we'd have burgers and potato chips and drinks and such. And um, every year, a guy named Nat Moore, who's the director of uh, alumni affairs t- for the Dolphins, wide receiver from Florida. He would go to the Anchor Bar, where wings are were basically invented, and get about 10 buckets of buffalo wings and bring them to snack. And Coach Shula would look at him and say, what the hell are you doing bringing those wings? I told you no wings. <laughs> bring them over here. I want to make sure I get some. So we all... <laughs> <laughs> we all he was he was just one of the guys and you know the wings would come every year he'd say i don't want you eating any wings but nat would bring those wings to camp and i mean to uh the meeting and we would eat those wings with the coaches and back then we was that the genesis of, was that, that the genesis of, uh, was that the genesis of, of bomb hours you pretty much, yeah. Well, actually, the genesis of Bomb Hours was a place in Fort Lauderdale called Wings and Things. And again, you know, there's so many things that I do are because of Coach Shula or Coach Bryant. But the Wings was a place in in, in Fort Lauderdale and owned by Eddie Houck. He was from Buffalo, New York. Became a big Dolphin fan. I went and had some wings. Fell in love with him and opened a wing joint uh, on uh, campus in 1981 called Wings and Things. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Man, Bob, real, always, uh, always great. Bob, yeah, go, go ahead, Trent. Go, go quick. Yeah, I just want to speak to him, Bob. I saw you at the basketball game not too long ago, man, and and, and you told me to speak to Jay and tell him you said hey and stuff. And uh, it's just an honor, man, just hearing all your you know your awards that you won, man. Hey, I'm I'm I'm, I'm thirty, <laughs> going on thirty one now. I'm still trying to be yeah. like you when I grow up, man. Well, oh yeah, well you don't want to do that. You know what I am now? My, on my card it says head wing cook. <laughs> so you know, I'm basically the head fry cook Love right it. now. In fact, I'm getting I'm getting ready to go in a restaurant right now and probably end up doing something in there, cooking or doing something. So, but I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know, that work ethic, that vision, all that came from Coach Bryant, Coach Shula, being at Alabama. You know, there's success leaves footsteps. You know and you got to figure out whether you want to follow. But Coach Shula was the best, you guys. I can't say enough about him. I, I love him. I love his family. He was the best. 